In this video, we are going to discuss time related operations on signals. So, up to now we discussed how many operations we, that we can perform on signals and amplitude related operations we discussed in the previous classes. Now, in this class we are going to discuss time related operations that means the operation that can be performed on time of a signal we will see. So, the operation that we can perform on time on the signal is time shifting, we can shift the time and time scaling, we can scale the time and time reversal, we can reverse the time period. So, now we will discuss one by one clearly. So, coming to time shifting, we can shift a particular signal to our uh, wishing time period. So, here for example, x of t is there, we can shift the signal either by positive shift or negative shift. If you want to shift in right direction, then you require positive shift. If you require um, left direction, that means if you want to shift in negative axis, then you require a negative shift. So, coming to a diagrammatic representation of shifting, for example, if you are having a signal like this, if you are having a signal like this, this is a rectangular signal as you know and here I am having time period from 2 to uh, 2, minus 2 to 2 if you are having then how many units it is covering means, so it is covering minus 2 to minus 1 and 0, 1, 2. Totally in this uh, area that means minus 2 to 2 again 3 units are there. So, taking the reference of 3 units for example, if this is x of t, if you want to draw the signal for x of t minus 2, then it will shows you uh, to which extent you need to shift the signal. So, here t minus 2 means you need to shift your signal to 2 positions with positive shift. That means you need to shift your signal to the right direction by 2 places. 2 places means if this is the starting point, you need to shift here and you need to shift here. So, that means after shifting to the right shift, so your signal position may be like this. That means here. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It will become from 0 to 4. So, you will get a rectangular signal from 0 to 4. After shifting, that means shifted version of this signal by 2 positions will be this signal. This is x of t minus 2. In the same way, for example, if you want to shift the same signal by x of t plus 2, that means if you want left shift, then what will happen? Then, for example, if you want left shift of this signal, that means x of t plus 2, t plus 2 means if you equate this t plus 2 equal to 0, then you will get a t equal to minus 2. That means minus 2 means, so here you need to shift from minus 2 to left side. So, here minus 2 to left side means minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So, minus 2 to 2 positions you need to shift that signal. Then how you are getting your signal? So, your signal will be like this. So, this is your signal. So, you can see this is your signal from 0 to 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. 0 to minus 4 will be your signal. So, here whatever we done is we just shifted the time period. We are not going to change the time period. So, here there is much difference between scaling and shifting. This is shifting and this is scaling. So, here uh, what we need to uh, consider is the time period. Here if you observe the time period of this signal x of t minus 2 to 2, your time period is 4, your time period t is equivalent to 4. The shifted version of this signal also containing time period 0 to 4 that means 4 only. The left shifted version of the same signal contains the same time period. We are not changing the time period, we are just shifting the time period. Whereas in time scaling, we are going to change the time period also. That means, uh, if you want to scale the time period, that is nothing but if you want to change the time period, you need to scale the signal. The scaled version of signal is denoted with the x of a t. So, always a must be positive. This point is very, very important. So, uh, negative scaling is not there. You can't do negative scaling, only positive scaling you can do. So, for example, 
So that is why I consider modulus for A, modulus of A if greater than 1, compression of signal will take place, modulus of A that means this, this one if less than 1, less than 1 means do not treat like uh, negative values, uh, less than 1 means for example 1 by 2, 1 by 2 is not a negative value but it is less than 2 that means the values in between 0 to 1 are treated as less than 1 value 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.25, 0 0.35 all these values are related to uh, less than 1 values and positive values. So, that values for that values if A is equivalent to that particular values then expansion of signal will take place. How expansion of signal will take place? How compression of signal will take place in these conditions means? So, how scaling will take place that we need to see to understand this. So, now for example, I am considering the same signal which we considered for shifting. So, if this is x of t with the time period minus 2 to 2, then what happens when I consider modulus of a greater than 1 and a value as 2? When I consider this condition, what will happen? To uh, consider this condition, the a value that we must take greater than 1 that means I am considering a is equal to 2 for example. If I consider a equal to 2 if you want to scale with this factor then how we can scale is we need to divide a particular uh, we need to divide your time periods with this 2. So, the time scaled version of this signal that means if this is x of t x of 2t can be considered as so to minus 2 by 2 plus 2 by 2. So, whatever a value is there that you need to divide with your time periods. Then the resultant is minus 1 to 1, minus 2 by 2 means minus 1 to 1. Then you can see minus 2 to 2 the duration is long but after scaling that means x of 2t signal will come from minus 1 to 1. If you observe the time period here, the time period here is 4 but the time period here after scaling it will be minus 1 to 1 that means 2 only. So, it is compressed, we can say this is compressed. For example, if you are uh, considering more values, you will get more compressed signal. For example, if you are considering this condition, I want to consider this condition that means uh, 1 by 2, I want to consider A is equal to 1 by 2. For example, if you considered 1 by 2, that 1 by 2, if you divide it, then 2 will goes up, that means uh, it will become like this. If you, if you want to do scaling, actual values are minus 2 to 2 for this signal. If you want to do x of half t, that means x of 1 by 2 t. I want to make the difference between x of 2 t and x of 1 by 2 t. The procedure is same. What we need to do is whatever value in the place of a, with that value you need to divide the limits. That means time limits. So, I am dividing with 1 by 2. If you divided with uh, 1 by 2, this is not uh, minus 1 by 2, this is just a value always positive. So, 1 by 2 if you divide it, then what will happen? This 2 will goes to numerator. That means, the signal will become like this. So, here you can see, so you will get minus 4 to 4. So, 2 into 2 minus 4, 2 into 2 plus 4. So, minus 4 to 4 signal will be the uh, scaled version of this signal. That means, when you consider modulus of A less than 1 or a fractional value, then definitely your signal is expanded. Actual signal is from minus 2 to 2, but your scaled signal is from minus 4 to 4. That means, length is some higher than this actual signal. So, definitely you can say expansion of signal will take place when the modulus of A is less than 1. These two points are very very important in technical exam point of view. They may give like one, uh, one mark question. So, in time scaling if modulus of A greater than 1 then signal will be compressed, signal will be expanded. So, no change in the signal. So, not, uh, no, nothing is the answer like that they may give. So, when modulus of A greater than 1 compression of the signal will take place and modulus of A less than 1 then expansion of the signal will take place. So, this is the reason. So, and here 
uh, I want to tell you, I want to remind one other point that uh, unit step for unit step signal, we already discussed in the topic of unit step signal. So, this time scaling won't work for unit step signal. There, I discussed that like uh, unit for a unit step signal, time scaling uh, won't be there. Why? Because if we are having a unit step like this, this is from 0 to infinity. For example, if you want to do uh, this is u of t. If you want to calculate u of 2t, what uh, generally you are going to do, what generally you want to, uh, you are going to do means you need to divide your limits with respect to a value. Here, here your a value is 2. Then you need to, you, uh, you need to divide your value by 2. That means 0 by 2, infinity by 2. 0 by 2 is 0, infinity by 2 is infinity. No change. So, that is why, so time scaling will not work for unit step function, always u of 2t, u of nt, u of 1 by 2t, so always is equivalent to u of t only. So, there when I discussed unit step function properties, I given this property also, this is also very very important for technical exam point of view. So, now final one is time reversal, this is just simply a mirror image of the signal. So, for example, if you are having any signal like this, so from minus 2 to 2, if you are having any signal like this, then x of minus t, that means reversing this signal will become the mirror image or reversal of the signal. So, if this is x of t, x of minus t will be like this, just a mirror image. So, when we reverse this signal, we will get the reversal of the signal. For example, if you are having with different limits, that means minus 3 to 2 if you are having. So, here also minus 3 to 2 you will get, but the image will be in reverse. So, just like this, just like a image, for example, in front of a mirror, if you show any, uh, any device, then uh, how it is showing in image. So, like that you will get that signal, um, signal structure. So, you can see if we put this signal in front of any mirror then it will shows like this. So, that mirror image is nothing but time reversal of the signal. So, all these are very very important time related operations are uh, especially important for gate like technical exam. Time shifting, positive shift and negative shift and time scaling always A must be positive and compression of signal when modulus of A greater than 1 expansion of signal when modulus of a less than 1 and mirror image will be the time reversal of the signal. So, this is about operations related to time.